The Middle Tennessee Baptist Church is now officially my favorite place on earth because of the video that you're about to see that they posted online. See if you can make any sense, not only of what they're saying, because you don't hear much of what they're saying, even though at points they're talking, but because of what they're doing. See if you can piece together any of this. What the fuck did I just watch? Your guess is as good as mine, dude. Your guess is as good. That went on for what? A little over three minutes? And at no point did it make any sense at all. Could you imagine being in the audience? And I'm guessing that if you are in the audience, you're going to succumb to like the lemming mentality, the group mentality, where you see everybody's like, Yes, amen. Yes, amen. People are like, oh. Making sign like they look like professional wrestlers doing the sign with their hands, like fucking making the X sign. I think I guess that's supposed to be a cross, right, for Jesus, but did they do it like this? I I don't know what I just saw. Here's what the church said on its Facebook page. They said, quote, It can't get any better than this. This is one of the best meetings we've had so far. God breathed all over us during this time. We hope you enjoy this powerful video clip. They posted that online themselves. That's They posted it. I had to chop out like a minute or so of it as well because it just kept going. What was that? One of the guys at the beginning, did you see a few of them did it actually? They're showing their, they keep lifting up their jacket so you could see their, their backs. And it was like a thing that they do. They're like, look at my back. 
I got a back. You like my back? It's a good back, ain't it? Why are you doing that? And then probably my favorite part was the guy, the main pastor who was up there first. There's a point where he just starts running. He's fuck this, I'm gonna run. He starts running on the stage, and then you see him disappear from the camera angle for a second, and then you see him booking it. He got down to the bottom floor, he's just booking it, and then he starts giving everybody high fives. Yes, hey man! That guy was great too, the camera, the guy who was closest to the camera, who just kept screaming, yes, hey man! Yes, hey man! The only thing I heard the entire time was the guy who randomly went up to the mic, and he goes, I was raised in a drunkard's home! And everybody's like, oh! Jesus! Oh, Jesus! Look at my back. <laughs> he also, one of the main pastors did the Petey Pablo helicopter! <laughs> you know what I'm talking about, right? The North Carolina. This one's for North Carolina. Come on and raise up. Take your shirt off. And you start swinging the, the shirt around your head. That guy was doing it. But he's in Tennessee. He's not in North Carolina. And then... Uh, I, I lied, because this is my favorite part. I don't know if you caught it, there's one part at the end there, where there's like one guy in the audience who's rational, and he said, quote, Why'd y'all do that for? <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome! The guy's like, w I don't understand. You're just running around on stage, making noises, showing your backs, doing this. Say, oh, amen! Amen! You know what it is, man? It, I, I got it. I figured it out. Religion is a drug to these people. I've acted like that a few times in my life. And when I did act like that, it either involved Adderall or cocaine. I'm sure people uh, have done ecstasy, MDMA, and they've acted like that. You're only going to act like that when you're on drugs. When you're fucked up and feeling extra good. So what they're doing, they're just essentially doing a natural drug, if you will. And their natural drug is believing in some shit that's not real, believing in God or Jesus, and they're giving themselves permission to while out and act silly without having to have like this, you know, rigid uh, societal view of them of like, oh, those are crazy people. Oh, stay away from them, they're weird. They're giving themselves permission in the confines of the church to, here I can run around and say, Yeah, amen! Oh, amen! X, look at my back. They're, they're giving themselves permission to do it, and since everybody's doing it, it's like, okay, great. But then when we get out of here, Bob goes to work at the hardware store, and, you know, he's a very quiet guy, and he doesn't bother anybody, and he doesn't let loose at all. Uh, you know, Dave will, will go work as an accountant, Steve is a cashier, and that's just what it is. It's like, okay, when we come here, we get to while out, act crazy, and just do whatever we want. That does make religion make a hell of a lot more sense. Or, all of that is bullshit, what I just said. And, they are acting like that for the same reason I, at some points, acted like that. They're either high on cocaine or high on Adderall.